Hello, my darling. How are you today? All right. Wow. You're always looking good, sir. And you lie with a straight face. <laughs> anyway, your fans are loving you. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. I love everybody out there. I'm really happy that they like seeing me taste food. Yeah. I like food too, so... Okay, sir. Uh, first question. Yes. What was your first impression when the first time I approached you to offer food? I was kind of um, surprised and a little bit uh, hesitant. Huh? Um, but I, I'm a kind of person that likes to try things. And, um, you know, I, I got into the, into the mood of that pretty quickly. Oh, okay. And I, I enjoyed trying new things. I like to try new things. All oh, right. You know, when I, as I, when I was growing up... Um, we used to have a lot of unusual foods, mm -hmm. you know, offal and, and brain and, and, and all kinds of okay. things. So it was kind of nice to try different things from another country. All right. That's good. Sir, another question. Yes. The Filipino food that I brought you, what is your favorite from there? Well, my, my all-time favorite is the, the banana that was done in the pastry. I don't know what it's called. Okay. With Come a, with on. A, yeah, with a pot of sugar on it. Turon, yeah. That was that was insane. And then, obviously, my my second favorite is the um, fabulous spring rolls that I I stole about four uh -huh. of them. Remember uh, the lumpia. Yeah. Lumpia, the oh. spring rolls. And then I also enjoyed that um, that meal with a with the green chilies in it, which was very oh, very nice. Oh, the Bicol Express. Yes, but well, uh, you know the the chili doesn't hit you right away. Oh, okay. But as you're eating it, it, so it seems to get hotter and hotter. Oh, Ooh, right. And it's got a lovely flavor to it. Green chili flavor is, is awesome. I don't know what chilies you use, but I love them. Uh, well, the normal chili. Ah, yeah, right, the right. Small one. Uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, sir, mm. speaking of Turon, yes. I have for you here today. <laughs> but what? I will give it to you later. <laughs> what is the Turon again? I, that, that's a banana. Oh, really? Yeah, I, oh. I did some snacks. Since I cannot vlog today, uh -huh. but I was thinking, no, I must give snack to my food tasters. Well, that, yeah. that'll, be, that'll be fantastic. Yeah, okay. I actually uh, enjoyed that so much. All right. Next question. If you have a favorite, what is your least, least favorite? Oh, that's easy. I think you know that <laughs> already. The bop is because of the f the pork lung. Yeah. I, I I look. I don't know. I don't think it's a bad meal. Okay. It's just that it wasn't to my taste. Maybe it's an acquired taste. You know what an acquired yes, taste yes, is? Yes, yes, yes. When you it's don't very... like something, but you get used to it. Yeah. I don't know if I could get used to it though. <laughs> I was surprised because you're telling me you were eating before offals and everything. Yes, but so. I never had lung offal. Uh, <laughs> if you brought me some tripe, you know what tripe is, eh? Stomach. Okay. You know, like um, beef stomach. Oh, you know, you're, you're going to eat that though? Oh, I like tripe. Oh, yeah, okay. as long as it's prepared well. We used to have two meals, uh, curry tripe and tripe and onions. A little pickled onions in a creamy white sauce. I used to eat like a pig, I tell you, I used to love it. Okay, uh, sir, are you talking about pork tripe or beef? Beef tripe. Okay, so now we have in Philippines, we have the beef tripe. Yeah. But we prepared, it's like in a bitter taste, bitter oh, spicy. Oh, I, I don't think I might like that. You know, you get the beef tripe, you get the two. You get the black one. Yeah. And you get the white one, the cleaned one. Yes, yes. Now, the white one, mm. if you cook it you boil it yeah yeah now the problem with tripe is that it smells when you boil it yes the smell kind of puts you off but mm. if you can get past that smell and then once it's boiled then you slice it and cook it in your meal it's such a beautiful texture actually yeah it's i, I tasted the tripe here i'm buying from spur or pick and taste yeah oh my goodness i like it it's so creamy it is creamy yeah. yes and if you make a curry with it it is awesome and then I am prohibited to bring it at home because yeah. my husband didn't want it. <laughs> I've even eaten whale meat. Really? Yeah. Oh. When I was young, my dad came home with whale and we made a whale meat curry, which was kind of nice. How, how does it taste? It tasted, I don't know, fishy? It's fish? 
Yeah, it's but it's a mammal, mammal, right? Yeah, I know. So you could say everything tastes like chicken. Yeah. Even, even we taste like chicken, apparently. Oh, really? If you meet a cannibal who eats you, you'll say you taste like chicken. <laughs> okay. Go. What is your favorite color? My favorite color? Yeah. Is red. Wow, me too. Really? It's red and black. Okay, I like black, but um, red is my favorite color. Okay. The problem is, is that I'm colorblind. Yeah, me too. Really? <laughs> oh my God. When it comes to robot. No, no, I'm not that <laughs> colorblind. You know, red and green, I know the difference. But say, for example, there's different shades of a color. Okay. Like when I was a kid, I would, um, when I was young, I would be coloring in my book and the sea would be purple and oh. the sky would be purple. It wouldn't be blue. I think it was blue, but it was purple. Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get like this kind of green and that kind of green and that kind of green. All look the same to me. You All know? right. Yeah. Me, it's on the road, the robot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You just remember, the top is red and the bottom is... <laughs> top is top and bottom is go. No, uh, even if it's red, I go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, next question, sir. How old are you? I've just turned 62. Oh, okay. Which is kind of sad, eh? My life is nearly over. It's a pity. Oh, yeah, no, but uh, no, I you don't, must enjoy life. I'm actually kind of touch wood. Oops. I'm still kind of healthy yeah, for my I age. See. Yeah, I'm kind of healthy. And you're still uh, lively or bubbly, Vibrant, bubbly. vibrant and friendly. Oh, yes. I'm a happy person. I can see I've that. always been a positive person. You know, I'm always ha glass is half full, not half empty. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I've next. always been positive. If you have a chance, would you like to visit Philippines? Oh, I'd love to. Okay. I, I've uh, seen pictures, and I know that your, your islands are awesomely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of them. Um, some of them are bigger than the others, and some are more populated. And so there must be a lot of quiet little beaches that are just amazing for fishing. And the seafood, uh, I bet you it's great. Mm -hmm. And both my daughters worked aboard cruise liners mm -hmm. and went all over the world. And I tell you, Philippine people, they are in charge of those cruise liners. They are in the <laughs> kitchen. They are the chefs. You don't get anything done uh, if you don't have Philippine friends because they're the bosses on those boats. Wow. I'll tell you that for free. Yeah, actually, Filipinos are all over the world. Yeah, and they're very organized, you know, and they are very efficient. Mm -hmm. And they only do, they only get into those positions those positions because they are such good workers yes. and such hard workers because yes. you know being you. on the ships is not easy mm. a lot of people can't handle it because you go on ship for four months you don't have a single day off you know yes, you work yes. day and day and day mm. and these people they're strong Philippines are strong eh? yeah we are really hard working and I, I know I know yeah. I'm very impressed all right next uh, uh is Filipino food better than South African food? Sorry to Some ask of it that. is. <laughs> Some of it maybe not. Okay. Um, I, I do, you know, obviously you don't have bourgeois. You don't have like bourgeois, which we love here. I don't know if you've got biltong, which we love here. Okay. And also curries. I love curries. All right. Um, but on the other hand, there's food that you guys have that we don't, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yes. There's also food, as I said before, that you've got that mm, I don't like that much. <laughs> but yeah. I'm honest, you know, mm. I'm not going to say I like everything. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because I think maybe I'll be more popular if I like everything. <laughs> I think I'll be more popular if I tell the truth. Yeah, yeah, That's no. That's more important. I gave up cigarettes 12 years ago, mm. and now I've started to vape, which makes me calmer and happier. Mm. Must be the nicotine. Yeah. I must have been missing something in my life. Apart from Filipino food, that is. Yeah, take it easy, sir. Yeah. Enjoy it. Oh, you promised to bring me that one thing that was, what do you call it, a uh, volcano? Or Dyn bike? Dynamite. Dynamite, yes, I'm yes. going to do that when I reach 10,000 subscribers. Oh, but dynamite, it's hot, eh? Hey? Oh, uh, it depends on the chili. It's not really. Well, why because... do you call it dynamite? Does it explode in your mouth? Uh, that's one reason. But oh. the other reason is on the appearance. Uh. Because, you know the chili? Yes. You wrap it. It's like, it looks like a dynamite because the... Oh, like a, like, a, like a wick that you like. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's well, I'm why. looking forward to trying that, as I say. Yeah, I'll bring that one. If I see you walking around with those um, bananas uh, or, or, or the spring rolls, 
I'm gonna sneak up behind you and steal most of it. You you mentioned three food. Well, burgers, uh, curries. Okay, and the other one? I can't remember now. Oh, biltong. Biltong. Okay, sir. Uh, but don't you have um, like meat that you dry? Sir, biltong uh, is uh, black meat. Yeah, no, we don't have, but. And they put spices and salt, and they hang it up, and it dries out. And then you cut it and you eat it like raw dried meat. It's called actually, biltong. Actually, we don't have meat, but we do. We have the fish. Ah, uh, you know, in the Cape. In Cape Town, okay. when my wife was young, we used to go there. They dry the fish out, yes, like fish biltong. Mm -hmm. They call it bokums. 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 Okay. Yeah. Is that a salted one? No. Yes. That's okay. how they dry. Then you put salt. Once it'll just go rotten. Okay. Keeps the flies off as well. So yeah, we got our Philippine uh, uh, dried biltong, fish biltong version. Biltong Is that tuyo? Yeah. Or, or the salted fish. Salted you fish. ate that with the champurado before the you know it was the nice, chocolate yes. rice. And we have dae. It's really like the fish was open half and marinated with salt and vinegar. So it's all. And uh, burrowbors, we have longanisa. You tasted the other day one breakfast. Right. But, but it's not exactly like. Yeah, no. The spices. You see, burrowbors is basically like a sausage. It's mm. an Afrikaans sausage. Mm, yeah. Now, um, obviously. The idea is is that the spices that they use mm. are slightly different to say an Italian sausage oh, right. or a Portuguese sausage. Each sauce, each country sausage uses a certain combination yes. of spices. Yeah. Now burrabos, they have a lot of different variants of burrabos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have your basic burrabos like a garlic burrabos or a cheese burrabos, but then you have like a food trekker burrabos. Mm. But anyway, anyway, so the longanisa also. Yeah. We have also different uh, tastes like first we have the sweet side yeah and we have also the garlicky side yeah so the different regions different tastes right different right yeah. right and what's the other one curry we got curry what kind of curry uh but it's a thai style we put in coconut milk coconut it's a kind of a thai green curry yeah something like that yeah it's a milder curry with yes. the coconut in. Not like here, that's so spicy. Hi right, guys, crunchies or fudge today? Fudge? Proper fudge? Homemade boiled fudge? And Okay, let me repeat. You see, see sir, you're having a lot of customers now. Well, only since you've come here. Oh, wow. It must be the guys are coming here because you're so pretty. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Mm, what can I say? What can I say? Yes, yes. How come I look not bad on the screen, but when you look on my, on the co on the computer on YouTube, I look like an old old man, no. ugly old man. Uh -uh. You make me feel old. I can't watch myself on the <laughs> YouTube because I look so old. No, people are enjoying watching you. Old anyway, people. sir, you have a lot of fun. They're always greeting you. I like chatting to people. Yeah. I like people actually. Uh, you know what? I'm shy, which is kind of unusual mm -hmm. because my whole life I've worked with people. Isn't that unusual? Yes. yes. Okay, we have here your favorite fans. Yes. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. To Between Quinto. Let me, uh, let me read that. Uh, okay, sir. No, I can't. Eh? <laughs> who, okay, tell me who I'm a shout out to. Uh, is that all my fans? Uh, well, Not all every, of them. Everybody's watching, but there's. People here will mention your name from Rosemary Luzano. Between Quinto. Yeah. Wow. If you want to read everyone. Is that a guy or a girl? It's a girl. A girl? Yeah. That's a beautiful name. Broken Noah. Broken Noah. Broken Noah. Yeah. It's like Noah broke his arm or suddenly he broke himself. It, it seems, yeah. Yeah. Eddie O. Edwin yeah. Dolphin. Mm -hmm. MJ 2012. Alright. Hey, get with it. It's 2023 now, MJ. <laughs> Not 2012 anymore. Was well, that a good year for you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then um, ESP. ESP. Mm, ESP, eh? Filipino African family. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Nod Odd Not. Odnat. Not Odnat. That's an unusual name. Yes. It's mm. like a reverse. Is it? Mm. Okay, you're trying to catch me out. And uh, J Boy Casieres. Yeah. Uh, German Camacho. Macho Camacho. German, is that a boy's name? Yes, it's German. Macho. 
so much. Yeah, macho camacho. <laughs> Did you cut muscles? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> you work hard, baby. Okay, and um, Jewel Vlogs. What's another vlogs? Jovelin Francisco, Maj Madraga Neil Anthony C. M Maharlika. 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 Mary Kritz. Tradio. Yeah. Oh. Min. Guys, it, your names are involved, <laughs> man. <laughs> Why are your names so hard? I'm just an old man. <laughs> I can't read these things. Do you know what? I can't read with my glasses. Oh. I read better without them. Oh, man. Because those are glasses for seeing far yeah. away. I never went back to get reading glasses, which is terrible. Okay, where was I? Uh, Min Blan Vajja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Northern Wings. Yeah. Northern Wings. Okay. Oh, you skip the one nicer. Who? Nicer George C. Nicer George Sai. C. Sai. C. That's why Sai. C. Sai. C. <laughs> Mexican. Nicer George C. C. Okay. And uh, Northern, Northern Wings. Wings. Again. Patatas. P. P H I. Yeah. Ramil Dog. The Gilmo. The Gilmo. Richard Perez. Rosemary Lorenzo. Lozano. Lozano. Rosemary. Saba Life Vlogs. Sam Adani. Sam, I like you. Your name is cool. It's easy to say. Why can't you all be like Sam? Adani, Sam. Sino Yon. Sino Yon. Don't see me. Sino yon? Sino yon? No, that's it's like in our Tagalog. Uh, ah, the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. She almost sorted out the bad guy. Remember in the in the Avengers movie? Okay. Oh yeah. He yes. had to get the ships to shoot at her. Yeah. She's what? She's. I hope you haven't got those powers. Uh, Totski. Totski vlog. Oh my no, no. Look at that long word. I'm not saying that. <laughs> me. Let me see. You say it. Look how long it is. You make me smile so walking. You you make me smiles walking. Walking. You, you make me smiles walking. Walking. Yeah. Okay. All right. Obviously you've got issues. We can work through them. You know? <laughs> You're making me. <laughs> Unika Hija. That's also Unique. not bad. Unknown. Don't you know who you are? <laughs> You don't want ask to your known. ask your mommy. She'll tell you. <laughs> she remember if she remembers. User B. User B. User B. Yeah. User B. Wilfredo Mendoza. I like that. Yeah. And Wind Chaser. Not Wind with the Match Chaser. Just Wind Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you all seem like really nice people, and I hope you enjoy this little chat I'm having with this uni beautiful. Filipino lady here. You don't get enough Filipino ladies this beautiful at the market. Okay, her daughter is also beautiful. But <laughs> yeah. you've seen her daughter. So they've seen her daughter, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, she and Becca, if they have a food tasting, they always run around like a kid running after another. Oh, right. Hello. There you Hi. go. <laughs> Hello, ma. Okay, <laughs> Christelle, my ex-boss. <laughs> oh. I used to work with them for 13 years. What a lovely lady she looks like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I am having a question and answer vlog. Okay. Because I cannot it's do food tasting. First time. Okay. Yeah, first time. So I don't want to waste my time. They need my food license. Oh. Food no. license? No. I, think I think she's being a little bit uh, iffy, you know. But, uh, yeah. Why a food license? Yeah, because they said I'm bringing food license. Okay. Hello. Oh! <laughs> well, look at this. All the pretty girls oh, at once. Oh, yeah! Oh. Don't tell me these are your daughters. Pretty yeah. ladies. Wow. Like they mother, are. like daughter. Well, they're really tall. They're taller than you already. Yeah. yeah. They never leave it. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to see you. Yeah. Christina at the end. Yeah, with the letter. Yes. Yes, I saw that. I suppose, I suppose to us, are you alone? I don't know that they are somewhere. Yeah, they're always with me. They're tied to my hip. All right. Lovely seeing you, Josie. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Josie.
Josie. Hi, no, I know your name is Josie because I keep forgetting your name. Oh. You've switched off, haven't you? I mean, isn't our interview finished now? You mean now? you didn't know yeah, my name yet? I mean, you kept this air of mystery about you. Oh, oh okay. Just the food lady. I, I'm Filipino food lady. Yeah. Okay, sir, one last question. Yes, ma'am. If you have a one million rand, yes. how are you going to spend it? One million rand? Yeah. That's like $50,000. That's not a lot of money, you know. Our money is worth nothing. Yeah. How would I spend it? Well, I actually, I would put it in an investment and I would get interest out every month to help my pension mm -hmm. and then I would make my will so that when I die, the money goes to my children, my two daughters, half of them. Oh, right. So I would at least get some benefit while I live so I wouldn't have to work as hard and then my daughters could have it when I'm finished. So maybe that's the chance that you can tour Philippines. Maybe it is. If I have enough interest, I could maybe save up for six months and take a couple of weeks and, you know, take a flight and come visit the place. Right. But as I get older and older, I'm probably going to be in a, in a coffin before I get there. <laughs> maybe I can have them bury me in the Philippines. No, you can't. What about sprinkle my ashes in the Philippines? Oh, yeah, we can maybe. Oh, we can do that. Anyways, I don't. I haven't sprinkled my wife's ashes. She's on a, in a box on my mantel so, shop in the lounge. She keeps an eye on me. Oh, you see. And then I can talk to her and say, what do you think of that? <laughs> and you know what? She doesn't answer me back anymore. I know it's naughty of me, but I don't know where her favorite spot was. I've got those sprinkler ashes. I'm keeping them. I'm keeping her with me forever. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Uh, I don't know if it's unusual or it's not a good thing, but they're there. When I look there, I see her there, I know she's there. Anyway, sir, you told, you, I heard you said you have two daughters. Yes. And where are they? Well, my youngest one is at the pavilion now, going to the gym and having the movie. She's just, uh, she's 29 and she was working on cruise ships, mm -hmm. but she's finished cruise ship contract and she's applied for a new job. Okay. She's going to be going to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Working for a very rich family as a as a server. My other daughter, who's 35, is living with her partner in Croatia. Oh. She's got a little two and a half year old daughter, okay. who is very cute and kind of naughty. All right. And um, she's learning how to speak Croatian, and she's going to stay there for five years, so she can get to become a citizen of Croatia. Oh, yes. She's only been there for two years now, two and a half years. So I can't, she can't come here. And yeah. I don't know if I want to go there. You can just visit, you know. Well, you know. I've got the life here. I've got my dogs to take care of. My sister and her husband and her little niece, who's now like a little daughter, who's also two and a half, live with me. I take care of them. She's a little bit, you know, she's a little bit slow. And her husband's a little bit slow, so I look after them. Alright, so, so look aside from making uh, cookies, what else you do? Mm, well, I cook and I clean and I do the dishes. No, I mean no other job or... No, I'm a pensioner. I'm a pension. Okay. Yeah, I'm a pensioner. What, what do you used to do? I mean... Oh, I used to work in the bank for oh. a long time. Oh. I was the guy that worked in the department with... Uh, if you bought a car and you paid your installment oh. monthly and you didn't pay, I used to phone you and ask you to pay your money. Oh, right. And then if you didn't pay and you didn't pay, I'd get in my company car and I'd come to your home and I'd ask you nicely to pay. And if you still didn't pay, I'd take your car away. <laughs> That's what I did. Uh, or whatever you had on finance. Your drums, oh. your scooter, whatever. Right. Your wife, if you bought her. All right. Say you like from Russia. All right. Okay, sir, thank you so much for your time. That was a time. joke about the Russian wife, by the way. <laughs> Never repossessed anybody's wife, okay? Yeah, uh, in the first place, why you should do that, anyway? <laughs> yes, I know, I know. One wife is enough trouble, sir, isn't it? Sir, you're so naughty, uh, your wife just passed. I know, Too I much. know, but I've got to get over it, eh? Two, today is the 1st of July. It's two months to the day okay. since she passed. She passed on the 1st of May. And if I don't, if I don't, if I'm not full of life and happiness, I would be full of sadness and crying all the time. Okay. And you don't want to see that, do you? Yeah, no, no. no.
Sir, one, I don't know if it's a sensitive question. Ask me. You, you said two months. Yes. In your belief or tradition, when you think you can remarry if you want to remarry again? I don't. You know, in your life, you find somebody that's your soulmate. And my wife, Ingrid, was my soulmate. We were married for 41 and a half years. Mm -hmm. And we knew each other for about five years before that. So we're looking at uh, nearly a half a century, my entire life. Mm -hmm. I will never bring another woman into my home, even as just as a companion. I will chat to women and I'll maybe even flirt with a couple, innocently. But behind that, there's nothing serious, there's no intent. I don't want anybody else in my life. That's good. And I never will. Never right. will. Yeah, no, uh, why I ask that, because for us Filipinos, well, I don't know if I co I'm correct, we have to wait an, one year before uh, a widow or... You, you, can, to, you can remarry. Yeah. Do, they, do, do you guys to. want to remarry after one year? Though? No, some people some do. want, oh, you okay. know. No, look, I'm sure South Africans would be the same. Maybe they want to marry after a year or, yeah. or two or three, or even right away if they meet the right person. There's no... There's no law or, or, or rule That's what here. I'm asking. No, there's nothing here. You could, your wife could die today and you could marry someone tomorrow if there was someone that you loved as well. <laughs> because you can love more than one person. Okay. You might have a, a woman that you love but you couldn't be with and now you can. All right. So it really depends on the person and what type of person that is. Right. As you know, you get people that are very sensitive or, or nice people, yeah. some that are not so sensitive. Anyway, anything else you want to ask me? Okay, that's all, sir. That's all. Thank you for your precious time. Yes, I shower every day. Wash my hair every single day. Okay. I use deodorant, underarm. All right. 24 hours every single day. <laughs> okay, guys. That's all with Sir Bradley. Uh, I'm just messing with you guys. Thank no, you. No, but I do shower every day. Uh, I'm not messing you about that. <laughs> uh, you know, I believe a man doesn't always have to wear perfume. If you are clean, women will notice that you're a clean person mm -hmm. and you have a, a smell of a clean person and it's attractive to women. Yeah. Alright. Cheers Thank guys. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Switch off. Switch off. Bye. -bye.